Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are installing an X-Brace into the E36 M3. Yes, that X-Brace piece that is gonna help me whenever I am in the track in terms of handling. Follow me on this quick installation. As you know, this is the X-Brace, yes. And I purchased it from eBay. Yep, so I found it on eBay for a steal. I went ahead and just, you know, pulled the trigger. And I was lucky enough because it came directly with the bolt that I required to install. Now, if you have a newer E36 M3, I believe maybe from 97, 98, 99, then BMW already pre-drilled the area where this top portion of the hole is going to be needed. Now, if you have an older version, you might have to buy a kit so that you can drill the hole to install this bolt right here because these will not be pre-drilled onto the chassis. Now, because I have a 98, I don't have to do any of that. When I'm under the car, I'm gonna show you exactly the holes that I'm talking about here. But this X brace piece, you can actually find it in a Z3M and the lightweight version of the E36 M3 and also on a convertible. Why do they use it? Because it helps a lot in terms of handling. So let's go ahead and mount it on the car right now. I am now under the car and as you can see, to install the X brace, we first have to remove this brace that comes on the M3. So there's one 13 millimeter screw here and one on the other side over there. If I look carefully, the area where I have the jack here, these are the two holes, as you can see, this one that I circle that I pre drill it. This is the other side where the X brace is going to go. So pretty much it's going to be here. And there's also on another, uh, another two one on that other side. Now, if you do not have this already pre drill, you have to drill this. And I'm going to put a link on the description of where you can find a kit to make sure that you drill this properly. So now since mine is already pre drilled, it's just a matter of removing this first bar right here and going ahead and installing the X-Brace by placing this bolt, that bolt on that side, and two bolts on this end, two bolts on that end, and the job is done. So let me go ahead and, um, you know, do that right now. And I still haven't fixed my oil leak, and as you can see here, it's pretty nasty down here. So I definitely have to clean it up and uh, find a way to fix this because it's really nasty down here. So again, like I said, 13 millimeter bolt that I have to remove right here, right there, and go ahead and install it so go ahead and do that right now one thing i wanted to point out is that these bolt right here this one right here is actually 17 millimeter it's not 13. so it's these ones that are 13. so it's one gonna be one here one there and same thing one here one there so i started mounting that side as you can see and now it's pretty much a matter of putting this like this and screwing that so that's exactly what i'm going to do and that's kind of how the x brace is going to be and again that one is not tight that one is not tight. i kind of leave it loose so that i can have flexibility into moving this into position then once they are in position then i'll go ahead and tighten everything in place as you guys can see i went ahead and installed the x brace you can see it down here yep so hopefully one of these days i'll have the chance to take the car to the track so I can experience really the difference in terms of handling. This is really like for corners, when you take the corner, it will make sure that the car doesn't really slide too much on one side or the other. That's it. So it's pretty much removing these bolts and placing it back. So this is 17 right here and those two over there are 13 millimeters. All right guys, this is it. As you saw, this was a simple install. It's just replacing a couple of bolts and placing an X brace and then bolting everything back up. But the benefits are really great when you drive the car on a track. Yes, I'm trying to make sure that the car is ready so at least I have one track day this summer. I know I'm moving a little bit of slow because I do everything myself and I have to do this usually on the weekend when I'm not working. So it takes a little bit of time. That's why I'm trying to do everything very, very, very quick. So I have a few more things I'm going to do on the car. Well, as you can see, I have the exhaust already here. I'm going to install that probably next weekend. So um, yeah, on this note, make sure that you subscribe, follow me on Instagram and like this video so that this channel can be seen. Again, thank you again for watching and see you on the next video. Bye.